What's up, Block fam? Package delivered recently. It's here in the garage. We're gonna do an unboxing. It's from Engine Hawk, so I thought I'd go ahead and share that with you guys. Bro, what the hell? <laughs> what are you doing here? That's cool. I'm part of the task force. Oh. Well, I guess that's cool. So I guess Wes is doing the unboxing. Box opener there. So this is a box from Engine Hawk. Top secret stuff. Just will act like you guys didn't see that. It's your logo there. Just to preface, you don't know Engine Hawk. It is basically a company that Rurock is starting. And so it's motorcycle apparel. And what they're looking to do is just really kind of revolutionize the apparel industry. Uh, same as they've kind of done with the helmets where they take their community's feedback and they really implement it into their product. This is not the box that the jackets and stuff will come in. It is just prototype stuff. So let's go ahead and dive into this. See how these prototypes look. We'll get this model over here to <laughs> model them for us. Maybe we'll like set up a runway. We don't really have too much room. We can take the bike off the lift. It'll be like a little runway right there for you. <laughs> little mini catwalk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to unboxing. If you guys are interested in checking out Engine Hawk, be sure to check out the link down in the description below. Wes mentioned being part of a task force. What's all that about? They have the task force Echo Hotel invite only uh, like Facebook group. And from there you go through and they're posting up all these polls and um, you know prototype sketches um, and actual prototype uh, pictures as well. And then you get to kind of vote as a community to choose which ones are gonna be the actual production models. Yeah. Like actually taking the community's feedback and implementing and like creating a product based on the community's feedback. Um, a lot of it so far has been jackets. Um, they've also talked about I don't know if that's part of the NDA, so maybe cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the stuff you got to choose was uh, logo locations, uh, logo sizes, logo types, you know, whether it just be this engine hawk design or actually the words like engine hawk running down the sleeve or across the back. Just kind of picking out what people want. One of the things I liked about the designs, which you guys will see in the jackets that I chose, they sent me over some of the designs early and I chose the ones that were minimal. And I'm a big fan of minimal design. There's tons of jacket manufacturers out there that don't do that. They'll like have their logo massive <laughs> across like the back or the front. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of like less is more. We're about to see. Oh, Laura Mipsum. So it's like placeholder text. Just goes to show you how much of a prototype this is. So the revolution starts with you. Welcome to the team. This is a first edition Engine Hawk jacket. Wear it with style and pride. Matt Reese, founder. Shout out, Matt. Oh no, I'm ripping a first edition sticker. Ah. Damn, that's a... That was actually one of the things that uh, people were saying was they wanted stronger hooks. So they're obviously doing that. Dude, freaking chain. Yeah. That's wild. <laughs> Engine Hawk, little card, SAS Tech body protection systems, info booklet back. We got some Engine Hawk stickers, which we'll put on the tool cabinets. That's a sharp looking jacket, man. I'm digging it. Padding in the arm, shoulder. It comes with padding, which you can feel, which we'll look at. Mesh underside. Oh, that's Reasonable. awesome. Leather but still breathable. That's really smart. One of the first things I'm noticing is the, the big zippers. So like whenever you actually are using with gloves, you can be able to like really actually grab a hold of them. Purpose built right there from people that actually ride. Dang. Oh, that's nice. Feel it has like this back protector. It's curved a little bit. It's pretty. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> pretty absorby. Still bends this way though. So that's cool. All right guys, this is the Hawkeye UV jacket from Engine Hawk.
We've got the logo, real minimal there. It's engine hawk on the bottom, but nothing is like really bright and standing out, which I'm a fan of. Looks like these are kind of reflective. How's it feel in terms of like the quality of the leather? Feels like it's really nice. Like it's uh, it's really soft and kind of malleable, but it still has like a lot of weight to it. It feels pretty durable. Feels like it's broken in already, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Like there's nothing. You know, it doesn't feel super stiff. Like. I mean, I can yeah. crunch it up and twist it and stuff and it's fine. Yeah, that's one of the things I dislike about new leather jackets is how like rigid you feel when you first get them and you have to like break them in. So that's cool that it comes like, it's, it's soft and it's got these uh, pieces in the back here. So whenever you're riding, it doesn't feel like you're restricted in terms of movement. Like that gives you a huge range of motion, like versus if they didn't move at all. That's smart. Expansion. Oh, that's actually reflected too. Not that it needs to be, but it's kind of a, just a cool. Let's check out this, uh, this armor. It looks super breathable. Dang, that's cool. So like the way it's designed, it really bends. That's neat. Interior pocket on the right side. Mesh, same on the left. And then it looks like you've got another pocket here. Is that like a weatherproof pocket or is it? No, so it's still mesh too. Well, yeah. it should be fairly weatherproof because the outside True, yeah. It's all leather, so. One of those like details that I pay attention to in riding jackets is whenever you do have an interior pocket here, some manufacturers will make it go left to right, but that sucks whenever you're wearing it because when you try to go left to right, it just moves the whole jacket. So up and down, it actually stays where it needs to and you can get easy access to it, so that's cool. One thing of feedback for this zipper, that needs to be bigger. That zipper pull right there. You have to think about whenever you're wearing these jackets, like you're wearing motorcycle gloves, right? And so you don't have as precise of being able to grab stuff. These are awesome while wearing gloves because I mean, you can really just easily get a grab on that versus something like that. A little bit more of a pain <laughs> in the ass. I mean, it's doable, but you know, you see how much longer it took to like actually grab it. So exactly. I would definitely recommend having a, a larger like zipper end or grab or whatever you call it on that. But yeah, like the detail on it looks great. All right, let's uh, check out the next one. Just hang it on a motor cycle. We got plenty of them. <laughs> next one. Denim, denim, denim. All right, guys, this is the knucklehead jacket from Engine Hawk. Like a work shirt. This is something that you could wear riding a bike since it's armored and have that protection. But then it also looks casual enough to where like you could wear it into a restaurant or something, you know? Yeah, those big buttons too. It looks like there's something on the inside for like a liner. The other one actually had it too, I think. Same kind of layout in this one. Back armor, interior pockets on right and left sides. A little engine hawk logo on the pocket. Reflective. Pockets here, the zipper. So in the cuffs, you got two, two button options. Vinted zipper, elbow armor. Feels like the same as the back in the other one. Same with the uh, shoulder. Interior lining for this feels really nice. Soft, feels kind of warm. You'd probably be a large, a little big for you. Man, you look yeah. sharp. That looks good, man. Feels pretty comfortable. Uh, I like the arm length, that's awesome. 6'4", so most of the time, anything I wear, if I reach out, I mean, they're up to like here, so that's actually super cool. Good for you tall peoples. Yeah. This actually feels like it needs to be more broken in than the leather did. A little bit stiff, but I feel like it's gonna be like one of the things where once it um, once it loosens up, this thing's gonna be super comfortable, just flowy, and, but still strong, you know? Just looking at it, you wouldn't really expect. I mean, you've got armor in the shoulders, armor in the elbows, and then armor in the back. This from there. Yeah, you can see. You'd never know by looking at it. Yeah, it just looks like a regular. Like a riding flannel that we wear or something. Yeah. Once again, comment though, zippers. I noticed these are small little baby zippers. Oh yeah. So I'd maybe recommend going larger <laughs> with those. But first thoughts and impressions, the quality, 
pretty impressive. Looks good. <laughs> Probably could be a little bit bigger too. If it came up to like here. Yeah, maybe make that. Cause like this. A lot of gloves out there do have those like reinforced knuckles. Doesn't even look like a riding jacket, right? Not at all. I could just come up and <laughs> beat you up and <laughs> you've got all that armor. <laughs> Dig it. <laughs> I actually don't own any leather jackets, so. No. Oh, this one actually feels like a little bit tighter. How are the sleeves for 6'4"? Slightly shorter, but still way better than any other jackets that I have ever worn. Everything else comes up at least to here when I stretch out. So if you're in riding position, arms out, you're gonna see a ton of airflow with the mesh down below. Like pretty stretchy too. So that's not restrictive at all. I love the, uh, the stitching in the shoulders, tuck and roll. Like yeah. the stitching style here. And the padding's in the right spot too. Like my other jacket, one of the shoulders, no matter how you move the pad, it's like kind of behind my shoulder. Like it comes there instead of, you know, here. That's a cool thing that it's actually in the right places. This one, you'd probably be a, a large as well. I think so, yeah. He's ordered for me, I'm an, I'm an XL, Wes is a large. We'll have to get you sorted, but I'll throw it on too, just to confirm fitment, but that's sharp, I like it. Zip down just enough for that inside pocket on the left. But yeah, you could fit a phone, actually almost a small tablet in there. My hand is wide open. Oh, damn. Yeah. Holy. <laughs> My thumb's all the way up here, <laughs> down here. <laughs> That's so. a massive pocket. <laughs> <laughs> fit important tax documents in there. Like that big. <laughs> That's nuts. License registration, extra gas tank. <laughs> <laughs> Tool kit. <laughs> Definitely warmer than the other one. Yeah, leather. It's leather, so. Yep. It's not as breathable as I thought it was going to be. Huh. It's probably more for uh, flexibility than breathability. So you couldn't feel it, really? Not really. Let me give it a try. I feel like a juggernaut on this thing. <laughs> Actually, it looks like it fits pretty good. Feels good though. I mean, there's definitely no lack of range of motion in the arms. Feels good. Punch me in the back. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Feels good. It's definitely warm. What? Make a flat track. What are you gonna ride out there? You wanna go? You gotta tell me these things earlier, man. This feels much better in terms of, I don't know, fitment. It's not quite as snug on me but i mean i got i'm not a little dude either so dude this is nice yeah i think it's like a feels like waxed almost i wonder if that's uh waterproof at all water resistant pour some water on i'm a big fan of this one guys feels good i feel like i could pick up all the ladies with this one jaeger bombs jaeger bombs jaeger bombs jaeger bombs jaeger bombs that looks water resistant to me water resistant -y. Nice. Cool. All right, guys, like I was saying earlier, these are the prototypes, but for being the prototypes, I'm actually pretty impressed. The quality of them feels really nice. Just a few small details that I would probably want changed. I think the most notable ones are like the size of the zippers, you know, like here for when you're wearing gloves. The fit feels nice, finish feels nice. I feel like their quality, the flexibility and everything with these added sections on the leather one, the only place I can feel it is right there where it bunches up, but there's no way around that. The pads feel good, super flexible. I feel like they're really breathable with that pattern that they had in them. I'd be excited to get one in uh, my actual size. So yeah, it's the first look at these prototypes, guys. The jackets from Engine Hawk, Knucklehead, and the Hawkeye UV. If you guys have any questions on them, be sure to post up down in the comments below. Like I said, be sure to check out the links also if you guys want to be part of that group that Wes was talking about, the uh, task force. Echo Hotel. Yep, I was telling Wes earlier, one of the big things, whenever Rurock first approached me about working with them, I told them that like, taking feedback from the community is really important. 
and every bit of feedback that I gave them for the Rock 1.0, they implemented it and put it into the 2.0. So this is like one of those companies that will actually take the community's feedback and put it into their products. So this is y'all's chance to actually shape up some motorcycle apparel that the community has input in. So you guys be sure to check out the link, join up, voice your opinion. It can legitimately make change at this point in the process. Big thanks to uh, Engine Hawk for the opportunity. This episode is brought to you guys in part by Engine Hawk. So y'all be on, on the lookout for further developments. Big thanks to Wes for uh, being the model. You guys be sure to go give him a follow right there. And uh, until next time, you guys ride safe out there, stay vigilant, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.